if I walk over there and sit next to Mr. Johnson and carry my phone, does Google know that I was sitting here and then I moved over there? You're welcome anytime, Judge. <laughs> yes or no? I genuinely don't know without knowing well, I'm what I'm shocked you don't know. Do you or do you not collect identifiers like name, age, and address? Yes or no? If you're creating an account, yes, and using an account, yes. yes. Device identifiers like IP address or IMEI? Uh, depending on the situation, we could be collecting it, yes. Specific search histories when person types something into a search bar? If you have search history turned on, yes. Contents of emails and Google documents? We store the data, but we don't read or look at G your Gmail. Do you have you? access to them? Uh, as, a, as a company, we have access to them, yes. So you could? Saying yep. you don't or don't? I'm not asking do you or don't. I'm saying you could, though there is a possibility. We have clear, established policies uh, on how we would do that data. GPS signals, Wi-Fi signals, Bluetooth beacons? You know, it would, would depend on the specifics, so, but there may be situations, yes. The GPS, yes. Uh, yes, if you have location voice and conversations when using Google Voice products, we give an option to turn on or off. And but if, but if, if a person didn't know it, voice and conversations when using Google Voice products, uh, yes. we only record when they initiated with uh, OK Google and then say the terms after. Do you believe that Google has been has been brought out here in some question is biased? Uh, Congressman, it's really important to me that we approach our work in an unbiased way. Do you way. believe that Google is biased? It's either yes or no. No, uh, no, not in our approach. Why, number one, does Google need all this information? We can answer that in the fact that 85 86% of your revenue comes from advertising, so we know you manipulate the data in some ways. However, can you explain what you do to minimize this data, which is generally an accepted standard practice among those who collect data? You know, our goal is, uh, you know, but we are providing, for example, if we are providing you a service like Gmail, which we have done for 15 years, uh, that, that data, we need to store it for our users, so they expect us to. So we are trying hard to match users' expectations. We don't need, you know, our data for advertising, as I said earlier, most of it comes from just the keywords you type. And so, you know, we need minimal data to do advertising. We give you options to turn ads personalization off. We store most of the data we do today to help give users the experience they want, and that's what we're trying to do. How do you explain this apparent bias on Google's part against conservative points of view, against conservative uh, policies? Is it just the algorithm, or, or is there more happening there? Congressman, I understand the frustration at seeing negative news, and you know I see it on me, on Google. There are times you can search on Google, and page after page, there's negative news which we reflect. But what, what is important here is we use a robust methodology to reflect what is being said about any given topic at any particular time. And we try to do it objectively using a, a set of rubrics. It is in our interest to make sure we reflect uh, uh, what's happening out there in the best objective manner possible.